So number 15 says the graph shows the favorite colors chosen by some middle school students. We have all of these colors and we have bars that represent each one. Typically the first thing I want to do is check out what each bar has a value of. So I would write the values next to each one. That way I only have to do it one time and I don't have to continue to look um, and potentially make a mistake. And then a lot of times when you're given a table or a graph you need some kind of total which means you're going to be adding these numbers together. So I'm going to pull over and do that. And I'm actually going to group some numbers here. So 9, 16, this is also 16, 18, and then 12, 20, 50. So a total of 50, and the thing you want to look for is in case you got like 49, you probably want to check that one more time because typically they're going to either give you numbers that end in 0 or 5, or at least something that's easily divided. Um, so we would kind of know that 49 would be a red flag. All right, here we go. Which statement is supported by the information in the graph? Let's get started. Fewer than 30%, so we also know we can change that into 0.3. Um, chose red, red says 9, yellow is 4, and orange is 3. That means we're combining these. Okay, so when we add those together, we get 16. And remember, that's 16 out of 50. And it wants to know, is 16 out of 50 the same thing as, well, fewer than 30%, so less than 30%. What I can do is, I know that percents are out of 100, so I can double that, which means I'm also going to double this. 16 doubled is 32. So that's 32% said these answers, and this one says fewer than 30% said that. So that's not correct. More than one-tenth of the students chose pink. So we look at pink, that's 4. But remember, it's 4 out of 50. Again, I'm thinking percents just because I know that I can easily change a fraction out of 100 into a tenth. So I'm going to double this. That's 8. I'm sorry, doubling it times 2 makes 8. And then if I'm going to um, turn this into a tenth, I'm going to divide by 10. Oh, that doesn't really make sense. Let's do this instead. This doubled to make that into 100. So this doubled. So times 10, times 10, that's 10 out of 100. So in order for this statement to be true, it would have to be 10 out of 100, and it's not, which means this is a not true statement. Okay, you could have also, um, I mean, there's quite a few ways to do this. You could have done 4 times 10%. That would have given you, um, well, let's see, what would I do there? Oh, well, it's going to give you the same outcome anyway, so either way you work it out. And then letter C, exactly 18% of the students chose blue. So look at blue, blue says 9, that's 9 out of 50. And this is 18%, um, so instead of... Actually, no, we'll keep going. We'll keep doing this whole idea of times 2. That means times 2. And what do you know? That is 18 out of 100, which is 18%. This one says exactly. So this is my guess. But I am going to go ahead and uh, solve this last one. It says exactly two-fifths of the students chose green, black, or purple. Green, we said, was 7. Black is 8. And purple is 6. We add those together, that's 21, 21 out of 50. Um, how do I want to do that one? We can divide, because we want to change this into a, a 5. If I'm changing that, that's dividing by 10. 
that would mean I would also have to divide this by 10, and that's 2.1, which is close to 2, but not exactly. So letter C is the correct answer on this one. On a question like this, um, I probably, as a student, would have saved it to the end, because this is quite a bit of work to have to do for one question, and it's not one that um, could quickly be solved. So I would have probably put a star next to that and come back to it at the end. So keep in mind, you can always use those strategies.